morning. Out here from the garden. Um, today we're going to talk some, some tomatoes. I've been picking tomatoes for the past few weeks, but this one here is kind of like, you know, every time we go to the garden, you got to have a snack. Like something in the garden, whether it's grapes, um, something you like to grab and grab something to eat. This is one tomato that never makes it to the table because it's my snack when I'm out here. So let me show you what I'm, I'm talking about. It's the Florida Everglades tomato. It's a native tomato. It's a weed. You plant one, these things will take over your yard. You drop a tomato, you got another tomato plant. I haven't bought seeds in years. I just take a couple tomatoes and save them, regrow them every year. So let's have a look. They will take over. Just be cautious. Oh, there's some tomatoes I picked this morning that blushed. I'll put them inside to the right. But it's up. I mean, they're about to grow over my fence. Uh, last year, they were halfway across the neighbor's yard. I'm like, like I said, most of them never make it to the table. I come out here, they grow in usually pods of six or seven. You can cut them off, take them inside, but mine never make it. So go get yourself an Everglades tomato and uh, have yourself a snack out there. I don't even fertilize these things. So as you can see, it's a smaller tomato, but they grow like a vine. I mean, like crazy. But it's a native tomato to Florida, and they will produce all summer long. So all you do is reach down when you're out in the garden, you're a little hungry, grab one off, and you eat it. They're just so juicy. They're almost addicting. Like I'm supposed to be pulling weeds right now, but no. I'm gathered around this thing. I'm picking tomatoes. They are so good. The important thing is you grow something you like. Something that you're going to eat. Don't grow stuff just to grow stuff. Like, if you don't eat a lot of potatoes, don't grow 90 pounds like I did. 100 pounds. You know, I'm, uh, bell peppers. I grew a lot of bell peppers. I've given probably, I don't know, two boxes of tomatoes to my neighbors. In the wintertime, they get collard greens. I always grow enough for me, and I had to give stuff away. It's what I do. It's my way of giving back. But um, find yourself something that you like, that's easy to grow. Um, I pick these because I virtually put them in the ground, and I might fertilize them when they first come up, and that is about it. They pretty much take care of themselves. It's a native plant, so it doesn't require a lot of maintenance. So you can purchase the seeds online. Um, there's a lot of trade groups on, on Facebook. Me, I planted them a couple years ago. They took over my yard. I grab a few tomatoes, squish them out, stick them in a paper towel, dry them out, put them in a bag, replant them the next year. I've also found if you just put them in a paper towel, fold them over, get you a big pot and put it in there, put some, some dirt on top. And in about three weeks, you'll have more plants to go and they will grow all year until the first frost. All right, y'all have a good day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.